students welcome back to physics with Safdar. now you are watching FBISC physics exam solution series today we are going to solve paper 2016 class 9 section a so let's start the solution this is the question number one the question is 275.00 has dash significant digits the number which is given 275.00 to select the correct option first you need to recall the basic rules to finding significant digits according to the rule all non-zero digits are significant that's why in this number 2 7 and 5 are non-zero so that's why these are significant digits in this number now check the zeros according to the rule after the decimal you can see this is the decimal after the decimal zeros are also significant digits so in this number you can find one two three four and five significant digits look at the option a is three b is two c is four D is 5. So option D is the correct answer. Question number 2. Which is not a vector quantity? And we have option A is momentum, B is pressure, C is weight, D is torque. This type of question you need to learn what are the examples of a scalar and vector quantities. So check one by one. Momentum is a vector quantity, weight is also a vector quantity, and torque is also a vector quantity. But pressure is a scalar quantity, that's why this is the correct option. Question number 3. If M is the mass of an object, then its weight on the surface of Earth will be First you need to know what is the formula of weight, the W, the weight is equals to mass times gravitational field strength. So in this formula it is clear weight is the product of two things, mass times gravitational field strength. So look at the option, in option A we have mg, so this is the correct option but check the other also, 2mg that is not correct, half times mg not correct option D none of these this is not correct so option A is the right answer question number four torque depends on options are force moment R acceleration and both A and B first write the formula of the torque torque is equals to force time moment arm force times moment arm in this equation it is very clear the torque depends upon two things number one force and number two moment arm so look at the option force only that is not possible moment arm only not correct acceleration not correct look at the option D both A and B means force and moment arm that's why option D is the correct answer. Question number 5. The acceleration produced by a force of 20 Newton in a body of mass 8 kg will be. You have 4 options 0 0.4 meter per second square, 2.5 meter per second square, 0 0.5 meter per second and 2.5 meter per second. Suppose uh, we have this object, its mass is given 8 kg. When the force is applied, that is 20 Newton, because of that force, the object accelerates. And you need to calculate this acceleration. By the Newton second law of motion, you know well, force is the product of mass and acceleration. Arrange A as a subject. So A will be force divided by mass. 
Now put the number. The force is given 20 Newton and the mass is given 8 kilogram. 20 divided by 8 we get 2.5 and you know well the unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Check the options 0 0.4 that is not correct. 2.5 meter per second square that's the correct answer but check the others also 0 0.5 no 2.5 the magnitude is same but look at the unit they use meter per second that is not the unit of acceleration that's why the option B is the correct answer question number 6 the value of G is you have four option you know well capital G is called gravitational constant and the value of gravitational constant is 6.673 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square so check the value of G with the given option option A 6.673 10 minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square that's the correct option look at the other 6.673 10 minus 10 magnitude is same but unit is not correct so you cannot select B as the right option C not possible and D is not possible so that's why option A is the correct answer Question number 7. 1 HP is equals to what? HP is the short form of horsepower. So here you need to write what is the value of 1 horsepower. 1 horsepower is equals to 746 watt. So you can check with the given options. A is 674 watt. That is not correct. 776 watt not correct 476 watt no 746 watt D so that is the correct answer question number 8 1 Pascal is equals to and you have four option first you need to know what is the Pascal so Pascal is the unit of pressure so write the equation of pressure. Pressure is equals to force per unit area. Force is measured in Newton and area is measured in square meter. So Newton per meter square is the unit of pressure or you can write like this Newton per meter square and it is equals to Pascal. Now look at the option 1 Newton meter square that is not correct 10 minus 2 Newton meter minus 2 that is not correct option C Newton per meter square that is the correct option check the last one 0.5 Newton per meter square that is not correct option C is the right answer. Question number 9. Convert 50 degree Celsius temperature into Fahrenheit scale and you have four options. To convert degree Celsius into Fahrenheit, we use this equation. Temperature in Fahrenheit is equals to 1.8 times temperature in degree Celsius plus 32. Now put all the numbers here. 1.8 times temperature in degree Celsius that is 50 plus 32 1.8 times 50 gives 90 plus 32 and finally 90 plus 32 gives 122 so this is the temperature in Fahrenheit scale look at the option 
option A is 122 Fahrenheit that's the correct option look at the others 90 Fahrenheit that is not correct 120 and 124 also wrong answers that's why 122 Fahrenheit is the correct option Question number 10. Metals are good conductors of heat due to the, we have four options. Remember one thing, metals are good conductor of heat because they have free electrons. Okay, that's why option D is the right answer. Question number 11. A physical balance measures volume, weight, mass and density. So you need to remember what is the use of a physical balance. So physical balances are used to measure the mass of object. That's why option C is the correct answer. Question number 12. The potential energy of a body of mass 10 kg at a height h is dash joules. So in this question the mass of the object is given and its height given and you need to calculate its potential energy. First you will write the formula of potential energy. Potential energy is equals to mass times d times height. So in this question the mass of the object is given 10 g you know well that is acceleration due to gravity and for earth we take 10 you will write 10 here we don't know height so you will write the same symbol h now multiply all the numbers 10 times 10 gives you 100 and h as it is so that's the final potential energy 100 times h look at the options a is 10 h that is not correct b 100 time h that is a good match with the calculation so that's the right answer but check the others thousand not possible none of these we cannot select this one because the option b is exactly match with the calculation thank you very much for watching the video follow the playlist of the channel you will find all the things you need in your FBI SC physics. So keep watching Physics with Sabdar for better results in exam. See you in the next lesson. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the latest videos. Keep watching Physics with Sabdar.